expert pizza maker Nino Coniglio from the Brooklyn Pizza Crew and the owner of Williamsburg, Williamsburg Pizza is with us today to show us how to make the perfect pizza at home. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. It smells problem. so yeah, good. I wish you guys here. could smell this. Yeah. Let's say this though. First of all, you got into pizza making at like 14, right? Like really yeah. early on. Yeah, what, what was the initial old. interest for you? 12 years old. Uh, so I don't know. I used to see the pizza guys over in Brooklyn, over, you know, and I was like, these guys are cool. They're throwing, throwing the, the pies all over the place, like yeah. respect of the neighborhood. Okay. You know, so got into it. Yeah, well, you're an, an expert dough acrobatics guy. What is the Didn't dough even acrobatics know it was a thing. thing? Yeah, so uh, when I was 20 years old, I competed in my first competition. One went to uh, Paris, Italy, uh, wow. China, all around the world. It was amazing. And that's for, for throwing it up? And that was for those. throwing it up. Now I'm like the Mickey. I used to be Rocky, now I'm Mickey. <laughs> now I got like kids that I trained up. Okay, yeah. They break dance while they do it, so I'm like the old timer. Can yeah. you quickly yeah. give us a tip? Yeah, here? I can show you. Yeah. You, you want to grab a dough? Yeah. Okay. So, oh. All right. It's kind of like this. So you're going to. You you're going to. You do, Jerry. Okay, all right. So you're going to. It's kind of like shooting a basketball and okay. throwing a frisbee. So okay. just one shot. Shoot the basketball. Oh, wow. Shoot that bad boy. Oh. Da, 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 da. You want to try one? Okay. okay got it. Oh, gosh. Go. Uh, this is, uh, you were really good at it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I got another one for you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's a good go like this. Okay. Hold out your arm. Yeah. All right. Now throw it across your shoulder. Oh, oh God. This is going to drop. If okay, I drop I, this, is that? I, I yeah, got it. Yeah. Back up. Back he's up. He's going to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. I got it. I think that's teamwork. Wow. Makes a dreamwork. All right. That's it. I mean, how long did it take to perfect this, though? The dough throwing? They got these like rubber pizza doughs that you practice with. Yeah. But I got one when I was, I don't know, 19 years old. I used to ride around the subways and practice all day when I was off of work. Yeah. Jeremy, I think you have a I'm future like, in okay, that. Okay, okay, I'll do more later. All right, <laughs> we gotta get to making the pizza yeah. here. Uh, yeah. You are a multiple, uh, multiple time world champion pizza maker, it turns out. So some hacks for practical, hey, I'm just at home. I wanna make a world-class uh, pizza. Absolutely, so the, I mean, the key is, you know, fermenting your dough the right way and, um, you know, if you go to our website at Brooklyn Pizza Crew or Caputo Flour, we have like a bunch of recipes you guys could use. Okay. Um, for the fermentation but, and all that. Okay. Yeah, for the fermentation, you want to have like a well-fermented dough. But then from there, it's just about the stretch. You guys want to? You guys want to try it? Out? Yeah. There? Okay, you got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you a dough. I, I've never you made gotta a pizza. Be aggressive. You gotta, no, I'm you gotta, gonna go with this approach. I'm gonna soften it. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So you just kind of make your crust. You know. Just spin it in a circle. Make it a little. Good <laughs> I want to get it just a little edge here. I don't want my sauce rolling, running out. Do a little toss. Oh, you okay, can I'll do the toss. Yeah. Okay, do the go. toss. Yeah. Nice. Look, this guy, you yeah. might. Yeah, I know. Yo, you might have a future. Yeah. 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 If this thing doesn't might, work out. I might take you under the wing. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So, yeah, okay. then, you know, you want to stretch out your pizza. Not too much flour. And then we use um, uh, chow tomatoes, which are canned, grown and uh, all in Italy, all in the Campania region. Which Asha, like, you will get flour all over your chair. Yeah. FYI, that's just a warning. <laughs> By the way, you're part of the uh, Brooklyn Pizza Crew. Tell us about that while you continue. Yeah, so uh, the Brooklyn Pizza Crew is a thing we started about uh, three years ago. It's a team of um, pizzaiolos from around the world okay. that we all just were crewed up. We go to competitions together, we share our secrets. And then we have a YouTube and a Facebook uh, okay. channel where we put um, tons of content on different pizzerias that we think should have recognition. Yeah. We give away tips and tricks and, you know what I'm saying, just spread the spread I mean, the love of the pizza yeah. community. The sauce smells so good. And then yeah. what are we doing now? So now we're putting a Pecorino Romano cheese. Ooh. Yeah, is that your favorite kind of cheese to put on pizza or do you have a just, favorite? For the sauce, I love it. It's mm -hmm. just like you can't have a classic New York style pizza without that. And then uh, a little bit of oregano. Oregano, I mean, of course. <laughs> A little bit of mozzarella. Can we talk about a controversial topic? Sure. Pineapple. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, look, I don't pineapple on pizza, yo. I'm like, I'm one of the biggest proponents out there. We fight a lot. Yeah, well, our Italian community. executive producer is very happy with you she right now. She says you're not a yeah. true Italian. She's been if fighting us about like this all week. On pizza. It's, yeah, you can't do it. You can't do it. It's just, it's, yeah. it's become like, um, such a symbol of, you know, I don't know, the Americanization of pizza or something. <laughs> you know, funny story about pineapple on pizza, it was invented in Ontario. Oh, Canada. really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't invented in Hawaii. It was what's, the craziest, what's the craziest thing someone has ever asked you to put on a pizza as a topping? Like the <sighs> most bizarre, that you're like, you know what, my dignity won't let me do it. 
I've, I've actually been asked to put beef patties on top oh, of Oh, like a patty, okay. Oh. Just a whole, That changes like, the whole taste It's like it. throw six beef patties on top of this pizza. Oh, that's kind of oh, crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of crazy. All right, so you got the mozzarella there, you got it all spread Yeah, then from there, you know what I'm saying? You throw some sausage, you throw some pepperonis. Oh, oh. wow. You know? Yeah, so that's... we put on the sausage, you know, raw, it cooks right in the oven. And then uh, these are cup and char pepperonis. If you look over there, you see how like these are the old school pepperonis, and I'm so glad you that they came back. Oh, you know delicious. what I mean? Yeah. They used oh, to be like. I have you know, seen that a lot in New York pizza, especially the, the yeah, smaller, well, more traditional it, pepperoni. Absolutely, it was around when I was a kid, and then they just kind of disappeared off the face you, of the earth. Are you an olives guy? Do you like olive on pizza? I don't like olives. I. I wasn't when I was a kid, but I like these like Sicilian oil cured mm -hmm. olives. They're like oh, nice. amazing. All right. um, yeah, a little basil. So wait, what's the biggest mistake you think people make when they're making a pizza at home? What, you know what I so, mean? Like just to kind of like really nail it. It takes, I mean, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Practice it like opening it, practice it, taking it off the peel, um, getting the right stuff. In the oven over here, we have a, this is called a baking steel. These things are incredible. You guys actually have this in your studio, which yeah. is amazing. There you go. How hot should, yeah. Yeah. How hot, how hot should the oven be? <laughs> so you want your oven to be as hot as possible. So usually ovens go out to around 500 degrees. Okay. You want it so around crank there. It. So you put it in. Okay. And, yeah, okay. crank it up. And then, yeah. uh, yeah, you just kind of like slide this thing in Are we putting that thing, thing in, in the middle, the bottom? Where are we putting it? Yeah, you put it right on the stone. <laughs> but so. on the top. Yep. Okay. Well, you know, like multiple trays. That's it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, right. there you go. And then how long in there? So it's about 10 minutes inside okay. the oven. And, and then, then uh, voila. And then you get this. So we just heated these up. You guys want to try this? Oh, so this yeah. is yeah. a piece of pepperoni. <laughs> it's delicious. This is a uh, margarita pizza. So margarita was named after Queen Margarita of Napoli. Um, and it was the first pizza, as the legend goes, from to have a pizza with cheese. Before that, it was just sauce, breadcrumbs, bread onions, uh, anchovies. And this guy, uh, Pizzaiolo Abati, decided to put mozzarella, basil, and tomatoes mm -hmm. because those are the colors of the Italian flag, the white, red, and green. Changed the world. A I bet symbol. you at the time, they thought it was like putting pineapple on a pizza. And then he, and then <laughs> he changed the world. Cheers to that pizza. Mm -mm. Mm. Sold. Wow, 100%. Is this yeah, the one? Really is this that sausage? Like you that's that sausage. Yeah. What's the, mm -hmm. What kind of sausage? It's just like grated up so raw sausage. So this this we get from uh, Mario Zolo local butcher shop and bakery, and uh, we just add some oil to it, and it just like cooks all the way through oh, in yeah. the oven. It's so juicy, it's so hard amazing. To choose, but what's your favorite kind? If you uh, have to choose. You know what? I'm I'm like I love I love the margarita. I love the grandma. I mean I love them all, but you know I really like classic New York style pizza. Like that's my favorite. Chicago don't make pizza. Uh, <laughs> Not a deep dish. Um, and do you have pizza every day? I eat pizza probably like five to seven days a week. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say this though, in, in New York, there is a lot of pizza. You have managed to break through, so congrats on that. Mm -hmm. What is the pizza that you most often are asked to make? What's the best-selling pizza? The best-selling pizza for uh, the plain, just cheese, New York-style pie. And then uh, we have a really popular pie. Um, I mean, the grandma is what, really what we're famous for. The grandma is actually an American invention because okay. a lot of... Um, you know, grandmothers in the tri-state area. My grandmother didn't even have a driver's license. Her life was to cook for us. Mm. So we were Ninja Turtle loving pizza freaks, <laughs> like screaming <laughs> for pizza, but like to order pizza out would be taken away known as job. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you don't so do that, right. yeah, they would, a lot of grandmas in the area would like stretch dough out, get it from the local bakery, local oh. pizzeria, supermarket, stretch it out into a pan, and then it would be this like kind of thin crust square with like a light fry underneath. And mm -hmm. that's where the grandma pizza came in. Delicious. Yeah, thank you. Oh, so good. By. Everyone yeah. in the office is very yeah. happy that you're here and you brought pizza. <laughs> if you guys live in, if you live in or around New York City, you can catch Nino at the New York Pizza Festival October 5th and 6th. That's really exciting. That mm -hmm. is. There's going to be 25 pizzerias from all around the world. Um, tickets are on sale at nypizzafestival.com. It's going to be an amazing time.